Chapter 16 The Leopard at Last They came upon him quite easily, before he had begun to think seriously of dinner. Phil, determined not to be disappointed this time, would not look at a single other animal until they reached the lion house. Then they found the leopard, waiting outside. It was very kind of him, but at first they were rather disposed to wish him in his proper place, as Kitty put it. For a leopard who looks loose is a good deal more terrifying to little children than a brown bear who is loose. This is his backyard or summer house or drawing room or reception room or whatever you like to call it, said Uncle. His meals are served in the dining room, which is quite inside the house. But on a warm day like this, he very sensibly prefers to be in the open air, even if there is a strong cage all round him. The bars don't seem very strong, said Joan. I wish he wouldn't look at me. Oh, they're strong enough. And as for looking at you, well, we came expressly to look at him, didn't we? So why shouldn't he return the compliment? I don't like his eyes, said Joan. Certainly he did seem specially interested in Joan, for wherever she moved, his eyes followed. I expect he thinks what a fine meal you'd make, said Phil, teasing her. In reality, he was relieved that the leopard did not look at him. Oh well, said Uncle. There's this to be said, not one of us would care to make a meal of him. He belongs to that cat tribe, which no human being ever eats. He's very big for a cat, said Alice, though he certainly has the same sort of look. Oh, he's a cat, right enough, and he's not nearly so big as his cousins, the lion and the tiger. He is much more to be feared, though. I would rather face a lion or a tiger any day than a leopard. He doesn't seem very fierce to me, said Phil. The leopard, you must remember, was not looking at him. Not just now, perhaps, but many hunters and travellers consider him the most dangerous beast in all the world. Not only on account of his strength, but because of his daring and cunning. A leopard in captivity, like our friend here, and a leopard in his native haunts, are two very different creatures. He is a splendid climber and jumper, and spends much of his time in trees stalking birds and monkeys. That is where his spots help him so much. At a short distance it is impossible to distinguish him from the leaves and branches. Like the polar bear having white fur, said Wally. The same idea exactly. The leopard is equally at home on the ground and the jaguar, the new world form of leopard, is also a splendid swimmer. It has in fact often been known to attack people and animals in boats far out on the great rivers of South America. It will also fish in the shallows, killing its victims by a blow with its powerful paw. The crafty fellow will watch the turtles bury their eggs in the sandbanks and then come down and scoop them out. It will also turn turtles over onto their backs and claw out their flesh at its leisure. As for cattle, no beast is safe or the leopard is about. I don't like him, said Kitty. I never knew anybody who did, certainly not his ways, but he's a splendidly built fellow and his coat is beautiful. Sometimes leopards are as black as any domestic cat and haven't a single spot. The most handsome kind is the snow leopard, or ounce, which lives in the great mountain ranges of Central Asia. He has a thick bushy tail that is often longer than his body a soft white waistcoat and very beautiful markings. He's not quite so fierce as his brothers and has even been tamed and kept as a pet. But I would rather not trust a leopard of any kind, thank you. They had drifted on to a neighbouring cage which appeared to be empty. There is a gentleman living here, said Uncle, reading the label, that I very much want you to see. He's called the Cheetah or hunting leopard. 
but it seems he is not at home. Or is he in his other room? Look, interrupted Joan. High above their heads was a kind of gallery running right across the cage. For just one moment they caught sight of a tiger-like face glaring down at them, and then the cheetah had vanished. He'll come back, said Uncle. He is one of the most restless of animals. I expect he's just gone to make quite sure dinner isn't served in the other room. Ah, uh, here he is again. The cheetah came right out this time, displaying his lithe, slender body and beautiful black markings to full advantage. He dashed left and right across the cage some half a dozen times, then disappeared once more. He is a kind of leopard, but differs from all other members of the cat tribe in one important respect. You have noticed that Pussy at home can, if she likes, draw her claws right into their sheath, so that the foot pads alone are felt. The cheetah can only partially do this. In other ways, too, it is more like a dog than a cat. Indeed, it is sometimes called a dog cat. Here he comes again. Notice the length of his legs and his short rounded head. In India, cheetahs are used for hunting, and many of the Rajas keep quite a number of them. He is led out hooded or blindfolded. Then, when the quarry is in sight, the hood is removed and off he bounds. As he can easily outstrip the fastest horse, the chase is soon over. After he has been thoroughly tamed, I'm afraid it's a rather cruel process, he gets very friendly with his keeper. Mr Lockwood Kipling, I remember, tells us the cheetah's bedstead is like that of the keeper, and leopard and man are often curled up under the same blanket. When his bedfellow is restless, the keeper lazily stretches out an arm, from his end of the cot and dangles a tassel over the animal's head, which seems to soothe him. In the early morning, I have seen a cheetah sitting up on his couch, a red blanket half covering him and his tasseled red hood awry, looking exactly like an elderly gentleman in a nightcap. As he yawns with the air of one who is in doubt whether to rise or to turn in for another nap. I like him, said Kit graciously but not to have him in bed. So it was settled that the leopard, when found, was no gentleman. As for his relative, the cheetah, he would pass with limits.